So um, basically, this, is, this isn't going to be on your test next class period, but it will be on another test. So um, Stephen, do you want to move to this seat? No, you're good? OK. Um, so what we're going to do is I want you guys to at least be able to identify numbers. We're going to be identifying numbers into at least four different um, sections. But the first one I just want to go through is pretty much the basic um, difference of imaginary numbers and real numbers. Okay, so we have imaginary and real numbers. Um, if on your algebra, in your studies of algebra two, Quajan, uh, what you guys talked about, you guys brought in uh, imaginary numbers. When you're dealing with the square root mostly of a negative number, and the definition that we had for our imaginary unit was the square root of negative one, but it's just not always um, limited to the square root of negative one. It could also, it's any even root. So I could do the fourth root of a negative number. Any even root of a negative number is going to be an imaginary number. Now remember, the square root of negative 1, and what we represented that with was i. All right. So it's important, though, it's just not i. But any time you see i or the even root of a negative number, your number is going to be imaginary. So for instance, I could do the fourth root of um, Negative 16. Okay? Yeah, you can take the square root of yeah, you can take the fourth root of 16, but it's negative, and, and the fourth root is an even, even root. So you can't do that because there's no number you can multiply by itself four times that's gonna be negative. Make sense? Alright. Um, you can also have different types of imaginary numbers. You can have it like 3i, you can have negative 7 minus 2i, you could have it as a rational. Doesn't really matter. Anytime you guys see i, you know it's going to be an imaginary number. And anytime you see the, neg the even root of a negative number, it's going to be imaginary. All right? Then real numbers are obviously going to be all other sorts of numbers. So we can have um, pi 3 fifths, square root of 37, um, 10 or negative 10. Right? Those are all examples of like real numbers. OK? All right. So that was one basic definition. Now what we're simply going to do